The springtime is really a wonderful time to be in the high country of Colorado. In the springtime, the avalanche danger fluctuates during the day. So we tend to have a lot more predictable avalanche conditions and longer days, sometimes more stable weather, which gives people ample time to get up into the high country and back down safely. What makes wet avalanches hard to predict is the routing of meltwater through the snowpack. And it's gonna run through the snowpack and capitalize on these weaknesses and release large slabs of snow sometimes in less predictable fashion than we see in the middle of the winter. We've got some kind of hard, hard layers in the upper part. And then as we move down, we get into some really granular, very loose and weak snow. We may have very stable conditions in the morning as the snow is frozen and hard. And then as it starts to melt and heat up in the afternoon, we can go into a very dangerous set of avalanche conditions. About 40% of the people that die in wet avalanches die from natural releases. As you're out during your climb, you want to pay attention to see whether the avalanche conditions are rising. If you start to see some small point release avalanches, snow rolling off of the rocks and uh, taking out kind of large fans as it moves down, that's an indication that the avalanche danger is increasing and you want to avoid traveling on or underneath those slopes. What you want to do is uh, plan your trip well, Start early, end early, and make sure you're back down to the car by midday or maybe early afternoon.